Hello and welcome to this tech tip. Today we wanted to show you how to compare means in IBM SPSS Modeler. My name is Astrid Cook and I'm an analyst here at version one. So we wanted to give you a quick tip to compare means in Modeler. Sometimes you just want to examine variable relationships and you want to compare averages across groups. Now the means node will make this quick and easy. You can find the means node on the output palette. So you can see I've clicked on the output palette here and the means node is here. Now when you run your output, you will see averages across categories. So in this case, we're looking at averages across categories of marital status. Now you can see each category of marital status here and I can see average income in every category, average number of store cards in every category and average number of loans. So let's see how this works in IBM SPSS Modeler. So I'm in Modeler and you can see I have a stream built already. Now here in the super node, I have my data set. What I want to do is use the means node to compare averages. So I'm going to come down and click on the output palette here and you can see the means node here. Now if I take my cursor and I hover it over the node, it lets me know that it compares means between pairs of fields or between groups within a field. So I'm going to drag this node up onto the stream canvas. I'm using the left button of my mouse and I'll release that button. So now it's in the stream canvas. I'm going to right click for my source data and select connect. And then I'll click on the means node. And now you can see it's connected into my stream. Now to open the means node, I'm going to double click. And you can see it opens it up. So what I'm going to do is compare means between groups within a field. So here you have the grouping field option and you can see there's a button here. Now this button, if I hover my cursor over it, allows me to select the field. So I'm interested in marital status. And then if I come down here, it says pick from the set of available fields. So I want to look at average income store cards and loans across categories of marital status. Now, if I click on options, I can see the important settings. Output, I want to actually output to screen, but I could also output this to a file. Now, all I'm going to do is click on run. And now you can see that I've got every field and I can see average number of kids for each category of marital status. I can see average number of store cards for each category of marital status. And I can see average number of loans for each category of marital status. And I can see for each of these, there are significant differences. Now I can sort by field. I can also ask for an advanced view. So it says cells contain the mean, the standard deviation, standard error, and count. So again, you can see the mean here. This is the standard deviation, standard error, and the count is here. Again, this just gives us more information. So that's everything we wanted to show you today. For more tech tips, you can go to the tech tips section within the Learning Hub. Of course, you can contact us at spssadmin at version1.com. You can phone us and you can check out our website at www.spssanalyticspartner.com. So thanks for watching and bye for now.